PG Sanji again and again. They have a response after the Luca situation. If you haven't seen, um, Luca's history and DMs was shown by a previous mod. Basically, he was manipulating our his mod for quite a long time and a long time friend. Very much weird and sexual stuff was happening. It was quite awkward. I think there is some form of like revelation or response to it. We're going to take a look at these things and just see overall like what's been happening like in the in the world of V2B nowadays. Take a look. They are afraid. That is today we check in with Niji Sanji English. They are afraid. Are is Niji Sanji afraid? Who knows, man. I feel like Niji Sanji is just the wildest place ever. Is Luca Kaneshiro earlier having a 70 page document released about him detailing page. past and present problematic behaviors? As further in this episode, Niji Sanji English's Pomu Rainpuff is back now, returning to her Made Mint account and joining V Shoujo's Matra Khan. As now back to Luca Kaneshiro, now seen here today on April Fools as Lucy Kaneshiro, having this past Friday being the subject of an extensive document that by way of of Raziel Warmonic, a longtime moderator of Lucas. This document now being suppressed as after 20 hours of publication, Google Documents had removed it, stating it was in violation of the terms of service, with many suspecting this particular document had been targeted by mass reporting. Raziel confirming, I did not take down the document. It has been reported and forced to go offline. While I wait for a review on it, here are other ways to access the document. Going on to provide a PDF version on Google Drive alongside linking our video covering the document from Friday. Reading this document from beginning to end and now having received a quarter of a million views. This video was released Jesus. unmonetized on YouTube and you can watch it in full with the link below. Raziel further sharing the file looks suspicious. And we did a react on this video as well. It was a big video. shot that she can see saying, wow, I think this may be a first in Google Doc history. This does not dissuade me, however. Further now showing the reason given as to what was reported to Google for them to take the document down, mm. Raziel Warmonic simply stating irony. Our previous read of this document being 52 minutes long, many over the weekend naturally asking for a summarized version, which we will now try to provide while rounding off the edges to remain palatable for YouTube. Again, it is highly recommended to simply watch the full version with the link below. Raziel introducing herself as a longtime friend and moderator of of Luca Kaneshiro, even before he was within Niji Sanji English. Look at this time going beyond boundaries, requiring more boundaries to be set up between the two. Luca also can. It's so bad that they were playing VR and he was like sitting in a room in VR with her and just jacking off and she didn't know. And then he tells her he's coming. Like it was just so weird. And then he, like the way she knew is by, by the fact that his mom went into his room. Yeah, so he was like sitting, he was in VR with her and he was jacking off. And the way she found out was because her his mom came into the room as he was jacking off in VR. So he told her he was embarrassed that she caught him jacking off in VR. Professing to be uncomfortable with quote unquote alternative lifestyles, this still being the case as recently as what? one year ago. Look at also <laughs> being yeah, know, caught right? creating alternative Is Twitter that weird? accounts to dissuade others from the Niji Sanji audition process while he was within the audition process himself. Further, there is the admission as to why Luca, prior to entering into Niji Sanji, had been removed from the GTA 5 No Pixel 3.0 RP server, Ooh. racking up a number number of infractions as next there was the ring fit adventure incident what a great way to meet the love of your life i know right look at now with a niji sanji english Jesus. but carrying no rules on his channel leading to his moderators when trying to enforce rules to be targeted themselves the document also had provided an example of luca directly dming a fan this fan then going to twitter to show that they had been directly messaged as further luca would also use a 3d avatar within vr chat against the modeler's rules saying i shouldn't even be using it because the company makes us one this document also detailing the incident with the copyrighted music from Hololive saying look isn't it crazy that Niji Sanji is so bad that they make uh, a model for the the VTuber 
and they're like you can't use this off stream you're not allowed to play use this in vr chat off stream at all like isn't that nuts like they give him a model and he's not even allowed to use it like for himself at all that's weird has a habit of asking for forgiveness later instead of asking for permission alongside antagonizing image boards hiding a secret message within one of his tweets for those users because it's the theirs it's not his. his antagonism against fellow luxia member ike evelyn frustrated by what he perceived Wasn't it when he was using a third model party model let's listen to this again i shouldn't even be using it because the company makes us one this document also details oh maybe it was a 3d it might, it might have been yeah we used against the model role password protected the mnd model of luca in vr chat if you ever did hang out in vr chat he would go undercover in the or in the niji sanji empress train world selen made and eventually the luxium vr chat world to interact with the fans and even real he was luke in disguise oh this is nothing wrong about this at all then Everybody uses like uh, models here and there. Like, who gives a shit? This VR chat that doesn't matter. Saying I, I shouldn't know, even yeah, be either. using it because the company makes us one. This document also detailing the incident with the copyrighted music from Hololive. Saying Luca has a habit of asking for forgiveness later instead of asking for permission. Alongside antagonizing image boards, hiding a secret message within one of his tweets for those users. The document also detailing his antagonism against fellow Luxia member Ike Evelyn, frustrated by what he perceived as Ike being vocal about his dislike of Luca on their. Streams. Ooh, Further drama. With the original cancellation of we AR love Live, drama. Luxium had gone on strike except for Luca, calling his wave mates childish and expressing how he and Alira Pandora would discuss the other livers' behaviors during this time. Luca would deny his moderator a contract for the other work that she had provided. This including extensive tech. Not only c denied contract, whenever she paid her, she said the, the, the payments were happy birthday, commissions. To avoid taxes. Because they don't want it to be a paid job. He's sending the money like it's a donation or a commission. Contract for the other work that she had provided. <laughs> this including extensive tech support. Claiming Classic. that Luca rarely, if ever, prepared for streams. Alongside detailing loads of uncredited All work. The including I like the that Minecraft as well, actually. Disneyland. Along with Raziel being caught by Pomo Rainpuff. As Luca Kaneshiro had provided his official Any Color email account. One of the major pieces of uncredited artwork included Thank merchandise. You, Raziel providing the script that. for the Sakura Bloom 2023 voice pack. Along Alongside the Luca Kaneshiro birthday 2023 it makes it voice sound pack, so serious, and even it? making the handwritten message for Luca Kaneshiro. This continuing on as Raziel had also created the 1 million subscribers handwritten message. As further, there were concerns with any color and Niji Sanji management. Various internal documents being shared with Luca's moderator, who had no official connection with Niji you Sanji. Put at that time. I'll never show Raziel my face. Or maybe, that the maybe Niji in Sanji five years English or livers had received no PR training, as Luca had also received this message from Niji Sanji management saying, to be honest, I bet everything on EN. If EN had not succeeded, I would have been fired. Has so he had his extremely face? Oh yeah, I don't mind people seeing my face, like in the sense of going on like, you know, knowing a friend and showing a picture of me or meeting them at a con or meeting them somewhere. I don't give a fuck about that. Uh, it's just, I will never stream with my face daily cooperation. Look, also revealing to Raziel that Nichi Fest 2022 would only feature Shu, Vox, and Mista of Luxia, but fuck? not Ike and Luca, <laughs> who Luca's frustration. And at the cancellation of last year's AR Live event, it was confirmed that the Nichi Sanji English Livers were given the same reason as the public for its postponement slash cancellation. Look at further detailing how in one instance where the girl they had pushed back against the management, girl, this had actually. alleged Cause I'm one of the members a voice of changer. staff to start crying as they were not used to it this did? I'm getting that later then. It also being confirmed that the matching phone case of Luca that was caught on a hand cam stream was one case he owned alongside Raziel, not Renzoto, who had later claimed to have the other matching case. There are also other allegations regarding Nichisanji English's Aster Arcadia as allegedly multiple girls were coming to Luca Weirdos. regarding Aster's behavior and management with 
Niji Sanji had refused to step in to do anything. Further, another allegation regarding Luka Kaneshiro himself and what prompted the publication of this document. Raziel being reached out to by a Niji Sanji liver, stating Luka has done a He's lot of bad things. He's basically talking about everything that happened you, in the last so video now, I think. Your experience. A lot of people waited yeah. for you to tell the truth for a while because it had been an I issue, know what so happened. I'm happy you finally did. That summary only scratches mm -hmm. the surface yeah, as to the in-depth details yeah. of this document. Once again, this document is still available on Google Drive as a PDF or available to be viewed here on YouTube with our video from last week. Good video. Now we really have further good video. details regarding how Niji Sanji has tried to hide this story. The Niji Sanji subreddit this past weekend removing... Uh, they've had fun, haven't they? They have fun every week. Look at that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of deleted posts more posts than ever and perhaps an even bigger surprise even image boards removing posts about this story wow bringing into question the moderation practices there even leading to posts like this one on r slash niji sanji no Mods one going to talk about overtime. the situation that post being removed receiving replies like we haven't been silent the mods have just been deleting the posts when they're active and will likely throw this thread into the trash can too alongside this reminder that all the talents are also mods on r slash niji sanji as we have other posts such as this one. How is Luka Kaneshiro not terminated yet? Others saying about the document, censorship is going hard with this one and involves some big money makers, so they don't want to lose that. Plus, more scandals and EN will probably require a corporate restructuring. Raziel Warmonic also providing this proof of the Discord name seen in the screenshots within the document, labeling themselves as Luka. Well, after the release of this document, other pieces of merchandise have received scrutiny, including these handwritten messages on Billy Bill and this two-year anniversary merchandise, which includes Luca's signature within a heart. Raziel Warmonic confirming to TBS that was originally made by Niji Sanji Management, given to Luca, who then gave it to Raziel to trace. The signature used on multiple pieces of merchandise, and Raziel also claiming that this is not his handwriting, and that further, he does not have the abilities to even make the chibi Luca as seen underneath that handwriting. Is that law? I need my lawyer. Julio, is that illegal? Because that's like false advertisement, isn't it? If you're like selling um, a photo and it says that's an autograph from some specific famous individual or talent, and then it was actually made by somebody else. It's fraud? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. It is illegal. We also have the further confirmation regarding Niji Fest 2022 plans involving Can't all stop the members of these tasty Lazo Light. Niji Sanji has been under fire. For months and months and months, and it doesn't stop. Obsidia, Ethereum, oh, damn. but only three of the five members of Loxium. Those being Shu Yamino, Vox Akuma, and Mysterious, as listed here, but excluding Luka Kaneshiro and Ike Evelyn. These two, in a twist of fate, now both opening up their pre-orders for their upcoming Ooh. Nendoroids. Also still available and on Twitter is Ooh. that tweet with a hidden message for the users of the image boards. The capital letters here in this tweet spelling out rent free. And the Rent alternate free. Twitter accounts that Luca had used before getting into Niji Sanji, You're but gay. trying to dissuade others from nice. auditioning for Niji Sanji, are still available. Luca making remarks such as these time and time again. <laughs> Doesn't change the fact you're poor. Dude thought he was playing League of Legends. Dude, what, the, what is going on? <laughs> And while auditioning for Niji Sanji, trying to dissuade others from auditioning, saying things like, if you have doubts, then you were never meant to do it. Alongside, guess you guys just weren't good L no matter plus how much you say it's entertaining. Ratio. Male VTubers at the moment is just not entertaining. They're more focused on complaining and being sad about being a male VTuber. 98% don't I'm have the personality sad. for it. We've yet to see a dominant individual male VTuber, and I can only name a couple that will take the spot soon. Hmm. Adding, I have two friends that got their email two weeks and a half ago. Aside from that they can't say anything else if you haven't gotten anything you didn't make it this despite no emails being sent out at this time from niji sanji this all once again as luka is a part of this nendoroid merch push luka kenashiro also taking part in the niji sanji en mario kart special battle event coming up later this week this event having been delayed by two months as luka is also in other merchandise that being for the upcoming niji sanji ar live event originally announced and canceled 14 months ago no and now featuring wonder why less talent how can they expect to do any sort of event 
whenever they are creating another fiasco after fiasco after fiasco every fucking month every week and there's something new like you can't the, like either go with it or just don't plan anything at all it's not going to calm down as they have i'll do another one soon don't worry about terminated. it many noticing the gaps in the cast space on the official website this page simply using last year's design but taking out one row and another liver but in one of the more intriguing surprises was the fact that individual pieces of artwork could be looked up on the website simply by using the suffix of zero mm -hmm. one through 19 and giving existing members like alira pandora along with graduated members like Pomo Rainpuff, Nina Kosaka, and Mr. Rias. Those three not expected to take part in this event whatsoever. But regarding the file number that should have Selene Tatsuki, that being 04, that file has been outright removed, providing this 404 not found page. Ichi Sanji once again simply reusing all of the artwork from last year, but removing the livers who will not be taking part. As very minimally taking part will be Ichi Sanji English's Petra Gurren. Sending out this notice, AR Live is back. If Pentomos could read the following message for me, I would really appreciate it. Sorry, I couldn't find a way to fit it in the word limit, so I had to use an image. Thank you. This message reading, hello, I'm so happy to announce that AR Live is back. Thank you all so much for your patience. As you may already know, a portion of the concert had to be edited out of the final footage. Because the duration of my appearance was affected in particular by this, I felt it was important for me to personally let my viewers know. While it's unfortunate Ooh, we all worked so hard for this day, and I truly hope my efforts will still show through. It would mean the world to me if you could continue to support me and everyone else in the concert. It's going to be so, so, so fun. Thank you. As also providing a similar message was Rosamie Lovelock saying, Hi guys, unfortunately a portion of my appearance in the AR Live pastel stage had to be edited out. Still lots of work was put into it and it's such a cool first time event for us. So I hope you can all enjoy it. This is next we turn to Niji Sanja English's Vanta Crowbringer who had responded to a tweet from Bree, the Gremlin Bunny VTuber, tweeting out, did you guys know I got McDonald's 95 times in the span of three months? Damn. Replying, based, to be honest. That tweet receiving backlash, this 16-year-old user replying to Vanta with, hey Vanta, assume you might have forgotten, but then... Oh my god, I'm... Are you kidding me? Once again, providing this image to Vanta Crowbringer, listing a number of companies to act against. Oh, I hate this shit, dude. This is the worst stuff. McDonald's being one of them. And Vanta Crowbringer, once again, in the span Thanks of for so reminder. many weeks, I appreciate replying, I did. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that is the most professional way to handle it. Wow, good job, man. Appreciate you. This receiving just move on. He just moves on. Flies like, I know you're not forgetting on purpose, but please be mindful because it's a pretty serious topic. As then yeah. the VTuber that Vanta was replying to would be targeted with messages like, oh, actually, before I go to bed, who the F brags about this anyways? Now illustrating... She wants... This Twitter user went out after fire. They were looking for a brawl. And they suddenly, it calmed down. They were like, hold up a minute. Why? There must be another thing I can be outraged about. <laughs> that even a Nijisanji talent replying to you puts you in the crosshairs. Crosshairs that seemingly did not exist back in December as we have Face Connect's Dizzy Dokoro tweeting out, can I please have a Starbucks? Please, please. Starbucks being yet another one of these companies being targeted. As longtime friend, Rosamie Lovelock would reply to Dizzy with, Sigh, here is your order, ma'am. Leading to Dizzy to create this graphic of Rosamie being a Starbucks barista. That all while the members of Hall Live Japan's Gen 3, Hall fantasy had recently made a trip overseas and going on to detail their experience with an overseas McDonald's as also on the receiving end of receiving backlash for tweets regarding McDonald's was Albin Knox and regarding a stream about Starbucks was Nijisanji English's Scarlet Unaguni now revealing her expressions after her 3.0 brush up sharing this face and saying I discovered a new expression then as Vazalius Bandage and Sonny Briscoe are set for their 3.0 brush up Vizalius being the first of the crisis group to receive a 3.0. So all next, we turn to Niji Sanja English's Hex Haywire. Perhaps seeing the profiles change on the Niji Sanja English Liver accounts and asking what the F is going on with Niji Sanji. Then making this post, so happy. Always so happy 24-7. Happy always. Brother is about to have a mental breakdown because there's always shit happening. 
I, did he just did he just have like a break and then come back to chaos? Like what happened? Rainbow Euphoria, enjoy life. They're Not losing it. They're all going crazy. Fulfilled always joy smiling. Life butterfly, wow, sunny, fun, happiness. And regarding those remarks that Hex had made on stream with Fanta Crowbringer, many wondering if they were to be perceived as a joke or it not. Is. One of the accounts who had originally clipped Think about that the moment would go shit on to show delete ever the and then add like 50 and layers of that. Later saying, I never meant to hurt anyone. It was a joke and I clipped it as a joke and I've never intended to get anyone harassed or hurt i feel so responsible for what happened i really apologize to everyone this once again simply coming by way of clipping a part of a stream now speaking of hex haywire on stream here we have hex discovering an easter egg in the latest chilla arts horror game that being an easter egg of doki bird now set to collab alongside <laughs> snuffy saying snuffy is going to give me a tour around roblox and show me her favorite servers Aww. one to collab a long time ago i'm so our happy doki bird has made like she's doing wonders with twitch streamers she's just doing overall so good and you see her collab with so many people it's just wonderful to see first idea was warriors cats rp but we were never able to until now but this time we can explore all the servers and game modes the on murder of so sonic also making this announcement saying Sounds i'm like officially game. partnered with gamer subs we Ooh, finally have our energy drink big sponsor money. dragoons we are now real gamers but there's more we're having an art contest to decide what artwork will be my waifu cup merch the contest will be from april 5th to june 10th with a seven thousand us dollar prize pool with 10 winners chosen by me doki bird doki adding the art contest was originally a five thousand us dollar prize pool that was sponsored by gamer subs but i was so excited and wanted to let more artists have a chance to be picked and compensated that i put down two thousand us dollars of my own money too a well, huge thank that. you to all your support dragoons partial owner of gamer subs shy lily saying yippee welcome this adds doki bird is Wait, does Shy Lily is Shy Lily a partial owner? I didn't know that. Participate in her huh. very first Japanese Apex tournament, wherein she'll have the honor of getting shot in the face by Hall Live Japan's Tokuyama Toa. Very quickly, we turn to Quinn, recently finding time to collaborate alongside V Shoujo's Kuro. As his VTuber channel, Quinn Bennett Live, has now reached 100,000 subscribers, guaranteeing him another silver play button. This, as his years old channel, has already received a silver play button. And now, long anticipated, we have the return of Niji Sanji English's Pomo Rain Pub. For the past months since having left Niji Sanji tweeting out from here, Dear Skewn account, and receiving artwork such as this piece from Moko, saying find something to believe in and find it for yourself. When you do, pass it on to the future alongside this corresponding this anchor, right? yeah, Dear yeah, Skin is. artwork. As to the surprise like of many, anchor, Pomo's man. VTuber account from before joining Niji Sanji, that being Made Mint, aka Mint Phantom, a ghost VTuber, had its Twitter account unlocked over the weekend. Made Mint now confirming she is returning on April 4th, the third anniversary of her original graduation as an indie VTuber. That is, Mint is also teaming up with V Shoujo's Matra Khan, now announcing and launching their limited time podcast together. Ooh. Made Mint confirming... I think podcasts are like the new... I feel like podcasts have always been like super hype. Like a lot of people have always been into podcasts, but I think like VTuber podcasts nowadays is the thing that's going to shine. Like I, 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 like it was a time where everybody did ASMR, but I think that a lot of YouTuber nowadays are gonna jump on the podcast bandwagon. She is not a part of eShoujo, and that this series is expected to run throughout the summer of 2024. These two even launching merchandise together. Mm. Ultra Khan stating this merch drop will be on sale for the whole duration of the podcast, so you have at least until the end of the summer. And that's not all, as the two would also launch a Patreon together. Niji Sanji's Rainbow Endo remarking, the underworld feels a bit less cold now. As looking back to the Dear Skuna account while in japan she would remark that she was feeling fomo for not being able to join hollow fest but still finding time to meet up with hall live english's takanashi kiara under her alias account the two going on to perform a choreographed dance in front of tokyo station dear skin responding to remarks with you guys can't even see my face you can't say i'm cute you don't even know watcher khan replying to the two with cuties 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 kisses 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 wow 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 dear skin also All taking right. time to meet up with the talents behind fuwamo 
Coco, after saying thank you, I know you both have been so busy with the move. I had so much fun being silly together. While also finding time to meet Ooh. up with Kana Uru. Showing oh, off that looks so good. And saying she even drew toes. Why is she so weird? Your skin replying, I told you adding the toes would make it worth more. As after, she would tweet, my days have been filled with cute girls and metal gear. Am I allowed to be this happy? I don't deserve this happiness. Mint now going on to plan a new Metal Gear playthrough series. As she will be staying with Matra Khan, who is also playing through the series. This all while just before leaving Japan. Dear Skin would hold a Twitter space in which she stated that after leaving her previous job, she had learned some form of information that she had found to be traumatic. Further detailing on Twitter. Tonight I pack for me going back home in the next few days. Thank you all again for following me on these crazy two months. They were so short and also felt so long. I did so many things and met so many people. I went outside of my comfort zone so many times, but I could also meet some new and old friends because of it. It wasn't a perfect experience, and like I said in my previous Twitter space, I am leaving more confused than sure about the future. I came to study here to not only be productive in the small time I took off in between jobs, but also to better understand what I want to do. I don't know. I'm really confused. But that's okay too. Life finds a way. I'm still so surprised by the amount of people who are following here and willing to listen to my stories and read my posts. I have a lot of anxiety about doing things as quote unquote myself. And I'm always desperately trying to get away from myself as possible. I hate myself and most would do anything to be another person or be a character. Mm. I'm weak and I'm anxious and I've made mistakes and I'm just not a good person. I only have this account to talk about my Oshis. Yet you're still here. Why? As I stated before, this account will mostly go back to being my Oshi Katsu account. Maybe sometimes a pick of my cat or something. But back home, I don't do anything super exciting, so there won't be much to tweet about. But All right, so I was mainly looking at this video because of uh, what's happening with Luca. Overall, it seems that this this company just keeps on fucking up. Like, that's Regarding like... Luca the, 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 the thing with the advertisement here uh, and the sales of art falsely put, sending out like the fact that they somebody else did the um, the autograph and just overall everything just being piled up and burnt with all of the new merch it just seemed like they're going back and forward they clearly have sold the merchandise that are not really that shouldn't been sold because I mean it's fraud at the end of the day saying that you're selling the autograph as a specific guy and putting in the art and advertising it it's clearly fraud so there's just like a lot going on I was hoping more to hear like what what's what's happening with the the, the situation the allegation that was sent out uh, if there's anything more happening but it seems that this is still like a little bit on the air and we have to wait a few weeks to to see what the what ends up but overall this was um this is a pretty good video i very much enjoy that see that stuff